Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure master data services in SQL Server 2014. Insta installation of MDS in 2014 is not much different than uh, installation of MDS in 2012. Is um, it's basically management of data. You have a different location in the world. Let's say that you have uh, one location in Australia, one location in UK, one location in Europe. So you have uh, uh, data in all those locations and you wanted to uh, have that data available in one central location uh, but creating customer in UK might be different in creating customer in Australia so all that um, uh, s data that you wanted to um, as an organization standardize that data that how to create customer customer related data that you wanted to um, provide to your business so that they can make some decision uh, you go through some uh, data quality um, and you provide that data into a central location so that um, uh, your data warehouse can be fed from it, um, your business can directly come to that data, um, uh, that location and fetch the data without complaining about that it's, um, you know, that the data quality is not right, uh, whether the data is all um, recent or not. Um, stuff like that. I'll be putting out another video that will explain um, much more detailed version of uh, the functionality of uh, um, master data uh, services. We're going to use the same setup file as we used uh, in SQL Server uh, because this is the uh, SQL Server feature, um, shared feature uh, in, in installation. Uh, so double click on setup. Go to installation of master data services, um, but I'm using my laptop, so uh, everything is installed in one location. So I'm going to use an existing installation of SQL Server. Click on that. We're going. We're going to go through the same setup as we did uh, uh, in SQL Server 2014. Uh, main setup, uh, database engine, um, and other basic setup. But uh, uh, this time, we're going to choose just the shared feature um, of uh, master data services. I'm going to choose um, an existing SQL Server instance, so I'll choose that. Click Next. And if you scroll down, you will see in Shared Features, Master Data Services. So you choose that and click Next. This is the summary, um, what's already installed and uh, what's going to be installed. Uh, I'm going to install it. It's going to take about five minutes, so I'll pause the video once the installation is started and come back to it once the installation is completed. It's installed successfully. Uh, we're going to close that. Our next step is to configure um, uh, MDS. So I'm, I'm going to go into the MDS configuration. Here, if you see that uh, it's, uh, it says uh, uh, 2014 Master Data Configuration Manager, you click on that, click Yes. It'll open up the Configuration Manager. If you see, there are uh, two configurations up here. One is the database configuration, and other is the web part of it. Um, up here, the um, IIS uh, services uh, warning. Um, there are some Windows feature. It uh, as a prereq it needs but I have not um, installed those because uh, I'm not going to show the functionality of it so that's why I'm leaving this alone uh, it will still let me configure uh, the database and web part of it so uh, in this video we're going to do that um, I'll create another video uh, go into the detailed functional part of uh, MDS later right now if you see the database uh, configuration it's uh, 
uh, empty uh, you can create a new database uh, if you already have um, MDS uh, database uh, um, sitting up in, in any other server you can connect to that database right now but um, by selecting database but uh, since we don't have it uh, I'm going to create a new database uh, it's gonna open up a, a database uh, create database wizard um, it'll ask me to connect to the database server that where I want to create the database so I'm going to give uh, you always wanted to test the connection connection succeeded this is the instance of the SQL server where I want um, MDS to create its database database name master data services DB you can name anything you want to click next this is the username uh, if you have a um, if you have any other user such as service account you can um, give that user that user needs to have permission to create the database on the SQL server side this is a summary that is going to create the database on this instance and with using this account and the collation up here is a SQL server default collation click next and as you can see it's uh, creating the database master database um, services database in the SQL server so everything is successful uh, we just finished um, the database configuration part you notice that uh, as soon as the the database configuration part finished um, it popped up some of the uh, system settings um, you can change the system setting using this configuration manager or you can go to SQL server and change some of these uh, uh, some of the, the parameters uh, that is showing here like uh, database connection timeout etc so let's get to the web configuration part click on web configuration here it's asking that if we were going to create a new website we're gonna use a default website or uh, it's, it's totally up to you if you click on here uh, there are two options create new website or default I'm gonna use default website you can you can use um, uh, the new website and it'll uh, pop up actually the wizard to create let you create a new website so um, and the next next thing is create application we'll click on uh, uh, application alias you can change the alias as you want to uh, username is the username that uh, has permission to uh, uh, on, on IS side as well as uh, on the SQL side so I'm going to give the, the same user that I created the database with Put the password in. You can see that uh, it has uh, created an MDS one. Uh, this is from the previous um, demo uh, MDS. So it's created. You can change the uh, web application as you like. You can name it uh, better than I did. So um, uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, do the uh, associate application with the database. So we're gonna select the database that we just created uh, in database configuration. Connect to the instance that um, uh, that has the database. It automatically got the database name from from SQL Server. Click OK and hit apply you can launch the web application in browser right now it'll be um, empty uh, at this moment uh, but um, uh, basically that's it for uh, master data services uh, installation and configuration piece in 2014